what is 55 years old and the door still lines up I don't think anyone has taken anything off of it I could be wrong though Chain plate installation looks pretty hammered. Looks like something's been moving right there. And there, and there, and there. Yeah, something's been wiggling around. This side, similar looking situation, nice and solid here. Four, that one, but, but that one right there goes to here. Pretty much. And everything. There's a soft spot on the deck where you step every time you get on, pretty much. That's to be expected, I guess. This is a little soft, it's not flexing terribly or anything. Water tank. Oh, looks like solid fiberglass to me. And up there, behind that board, which I don't see any screws for, and it's kind of held in by those trim pieces, I think, is the chain locker and under the front deck. seen it's better days well look at that hook right there for during that's a big lifting hook probably lift the keel during um, assembly yeah that's the keel right under there nothing looks like it's been moving down here the front of the boat is a little chewed up like it rubbed against a dock or hit a dock a few times possibly again to be expected but this thing is cute no show stoppers as of yet
Click somebody tried to fare this in and they just did a shitty job. Yeah, you know, chain plates just for that front shot. Oh, there's all the screws. All the screws are for the T tow rail cap, which is has seen its better days. Under there is under the pillow. Ugh. Porta potty. Wow, it is tight in here. If I was any more of a fat ass, I wouldn't be able to do move around in here. thing oh there's the chain plates okay there's the other side oh so that's a simple fix yeah the fiberglass is gone off it you can see it fiberglass delaminated starting right there that's oh that's soft plywood listen to this It is a simple fix. One weekend, both sides, no problem. Looks like there was a shelf in here. Oh, that's soft too. Look, there was a shelf in here. Right along there, and across under here. It looks like they pulled it out. because these things came with an inboard some of them so the inboard should be behind there or under there but under there there's no panel that lifts out and it's blocked off it's blocked off from this lazarette with fiberglass on both sides so this is kind of weird this little cap here just some junk that goes up to here there it is right there Oh, this was the ice box. Oh, that was to grab a beer right there. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm picking up what they're laying down. WBF8660. Mayday, mayday. So the, uh, the cleats have been, backing plates have been added. This is the back side of the handrail. They're a little wobbly. But the screws are loose and everything's old. This screws into a hole under that. And then that table fits onto it. Yeah, man. There's nothing down here. Under there, it's all missing. Oh, there it is. Oh, the manual bilge pump. What do we got? Discharge of oil prohibited. 
the Federal Water Pollution Control Act prohibits the discharge of air or oily of oil or oily waste into or upon the navigable waters, etc. etc. Whoa, look at a bilge. I better not drop my fucking phone here. Pretty freaking clean for a 55 year old boat. So those right there. That right. Right there, that through hole is for the. For the cockpit drains. Okay, that makes sense. I totally missed that before, right? How far back does this go? Oh my god, where did I drop my phone? I'm doing a colonoscopy on this boat right now. Got my whole arm up in there. Patient looks good. Alright. Panel box, Bristol Yacht Company. So it's got these little fiddles, they're called, maybe? Fiddles. It's pretty small in here. Like, I don't even know if I can sleep here. Ooh. Oh yeah, I could. Shit. With plenty of room to spare, let me see. Oh, yeah, this has got to be six foot eight. Front to back. This is a five ton. I got plenty of room. Yeah, man, this thing is cute. I think I might have to. I don't know, $2,300. Jesus. So this very beautiful looking floor is an aftermarket insert. There is the stock floor. It's just really thin plywood. It's hammered. But with this piece out, I can stand up straight in here. With this piece in, I cannot stand up straight in here. So, this beautiful little piece will either get thinned down somehow or taken out. isn't on. So you can see the front. It's a little chewed up, but there's probably two inches of solid fiberglass in there, so it doesn't matter. The deck's all solid. Except for I think about here it's just a little squishy. Nothing bad at all. These um ratchets don't work. Unless I just don't know how to use them. There's nothing under that subfloor except the drains. These are the three cockpit companionway boards. So that little hole right there in the block. There's a little rod little stainless steel bent 90 degrees that pushes up into here and through there and locks this locker. Everything in here looks really good, solid as can be. 
I went tapping around in here. Looks good. And it needs to be cleaned and painted and dolled up, but it's pretty good. Just the same. Delamination there. Right, right, right. Or not delamination, just cracking or something. Not enough overlap of the glass, I don't know. A little shore power plug there. A ladder. A little baby anchor. That's probably all this thing needs. Little baby drains. I don't know what this was for. Probably a whoop whoop whoop. How far over are we leaning meter? Little hidey holes here. These are solid. So the um, tiller looks really nice. seems very consistent and not sloppy. It's very nice. There's a little crack right there. It's probably just the gel coat. Uh-oh. So this um, Trantum Lazarette thingy goes up. This baby goes down like that and I pulled this over just to see how much compression I had and the fucking thing started <laughs> so it runs very good so it's pretty ugly back here Blah. black mode so there's the other um, locker lock rod so yeah everything looks good I don't see any repairs or you know all original. All aboriginal. So the uh, tow rail cap is pretty shot. All the little floffer McGeefers are gone here, most of them. But um, I did not see one spot where any of them were leaking into the boat. I think this is for the... Uh, the main sheet traveler. I wonder what that's for. Little tiny phallic symbol on the tiller. <laughs> oh. So he had it like this. Just over like that. Yeah, so these are weird. So this doohickey goes in that thing in my bobby, but nothing happens. So I think this goes in here and tightens that up. Whatever it is, it needs to be rehabbed. No biggie. Everything looks good. Okay, there's three chain plates on each side. Okay. And then the two back here, I think. Does this have a running back stance? It's got to, right? Yeah, yeah right there. Okay. What's that for? To tie off the tra traveler? I think so. Okay. That's it. Pretty cool. I mean, the 
shit has worked since 1968. I was pooping in diapers while this boat was being used. Then I was in kindergarten and this boat was being used. Then I was... Oh. Going to college and this thing was being used. And I was working and this thing was being used. Then I was... Oh. I had my son and this thing was being used. Uh. I married John and this thing was being used. And 13 years later, this guy's giving this thing away for 2300 bucks. I think I'm going to take it. I'll just get a trailer for it. $2,300, I'm not going to beat that anywhere. And this is the exact exact hull design I've wanted. Just three feet shorter than perfect. But, I mean... One, two, three. So that much shorter than I wanted. I think I can deal with that. Paint job is ugly, but that's what my hands are for. Fix it. So the later models had had a little fiberglass, like it was this tall and fiberglass, and then the tow then the tow rail cap was on there, so they were a little nicer. But fuck it, this one's not that. So okay. See ya.